Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from GardenEquipmentReview.com. Hope you're doing well. Over the last few days we've been looking at the BCS range of two-wheel tractors. In fact, uh, the two-wheel tractors with a rotavator on, but they are actually two-wheel tractors. Today we are looking at the BCS 750 wheeled rotavator. This is a um, this is BCS's largest machine. Uh, it retails for for the petrol model. The Honda petrol engine model is 4,350, and for the diesel engine model it is 5,380. Both these prices are plus fat. Um, you can find these machines sometimes available on eBay if you look at the second hand. So I've put an eBay link in here. Um, so you can take a look there if you're looking for a machine. Um, so let's have a look at the features. So there, there are diesel and petrol models available. But there's the Honda uh, petrol or the the um, Kohler diesel, which is American uh, diesel engine. It was originally a Lombardini, to be fair, but Kohler uh, since purchased or several years ago now purchased Lombardini, so it goes under the Kohler name. Now, first of all, the Honda engine. Honda engines are great. Um, I've had several of them and I've never had a problem with them, they're very economical. However, for a rotavator, a diesel engine is slightly more suited because the, the engine, the diesel engine has low down torque and sometimes you just want low revs for rotavating if you're digging hard ground. And so for this purpose, the diesel engine is more suitable. If I was buying today, I would buy the diesel engine model, I've owned a diesel. BCS model and um, that's my preferred choice um, having said that if you have to have the Honda it still wouldn't be a bad machine um, but the reliability of the Honda but definitely you've got longer life for the diesel um, more economical and low down torque which is um, great so um, looking down the list um, so we covered Honda petrol or Kohler diesel um, there is a wide range of attachments so if Put the list of attachments um, down here, all, 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 all sorts of um, things somewhere. I've obviously gone past it. Uh, yeah, just down here, there's a there's list list of attachments. So, um, which range range from um, from in the cultivation department, adjustable ridger, cultivator kit, power harrow, reversible plow, stone barrier. I've missed some of them because I've got them all written here a wide range. Then in the grass department there's scarifiers, mulching mowers, sickle bar mowers, flower mower, hay rake, hay rake even a mini, a mini baler can you believe and another rotary mower. Um, the miscellaneous stuff attachments include a buck rake, a chipper shredder, uh, quite a useful tool, dozer blade, power brush, snow blower, snow plow and even a stump grinder and a trailer which is trailer come barrow which is uh, extremely useful. So another big plus point, um, the BCS offer a, a three year domestic warranty and a two year commercial warranty so that um, definitely gives peace of mind. Now the Rotovator has a 32 inch wide cut so it's, it's quite a Quite a wide cut, just under three foot, um, which is fine providing you can get it um, through your back gate or whatever. The, the other ones had a 26 inch uh, width, and I think the smallest one may have had a 20 inch, but um, so it's certainly a great way to cover the ground. Uh, it's got a six speed gearbox, three forward, three reverse, steering brakes, independent differential lock, so you can lock that uh, when you're going forward, so obviously you don't want to lock it when you're trying to turn because you will struggle to turn, um, but it just helps to keep the machine pulling when you're in work and uh, cultivating, so another useful feature. Um, over the years I've seen this company grow, BCS, um, very popular with hire companies and popular with professionals too. Now despite the size of the machine, with the steering brakes and what have you and the gears, it is actually very manoeuvrable. I actually put very, very manoeuvrable twice there for some reason. Um, but yes, it's certainly a manoeuvrable machine. Um, down here, hard wearing tines, adjustable handles so you can see all the positions. You can offset the handles so you don't have to walk over your freshly dug soil, which is perfect. Or you can adjust the height and they will sw swing right round depending what, what you're doing. 
Um, simple depth adjustment just on a lever. The more you pull the lever up, the um, deeper the machine will go, and the more you put the skid down, the, the uh, deeper it will dig. So that's just about covered sort of everything here. Um, let's a quick, quick implement a, a coupling here, um, which, which would no, no spanners required. So another useful feature, and uh, just just down below, just put the spec. So um, anyway, a little bit about the machine there. Um, please feel free to comment at the bottom of this blog post. I'm going to embed this video in um, into this blog post. Um, you can like our channel on YouTube or comment on the video. Um, but it's always good to hear uh, other people's experience with particular machines. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing you next time.